Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it's been a couple of years since I've actually done a YouTube video and since that time I've been busy. I've become a certified makeup artist um, and in that time I found that there was not a lot of information out there for those that want to pursue it as a career or a side hobby um, or just for fun. Um, so I decided to kind of ensure there was some information out there for those that are either up and coming, already in the industry or just want to, um, or are just curious as to what people do, so on and so forth, to make it um, some information out there for those that are wanting to become a makeup artist or those that are just makeup lovers. So that's why instead of just doing a favorites video, I've made this one more of a, a makeup kit specific video. And if you guys like it, just let me know either comment down below or subscribe to show me that you like the video. Essentially what I'm trying to do is get information out there to those that are in the makeup industry and that is a little bit more relevant to those in the makeup industry or those that are makeup artists so that there is something for you guys to watch and that you guys can be entertained by or kind of create a community around it um, with our product favorites and share that information among each other because I really think there's you know there's a bit of a market out there for that so um, if you guys are interested in knowing what my top five products have been for March as a makeup artist then stay tuned I'm just gonna get underway with no particular order here um, so my first favorite product to have in my makeup kit for March is the Maybelline Great Lash mascara so this bad boy I mean in my kit personally I don't I don't put a lot of expensive mascaras in there because 95% of the times I prefer to end my look on a client with lashes as I think they look really done. I'm, I'm very um, passionate about the eyes and the way that they really make the, the face look really beautiful. So for me, I don't really need an expensive mascara in my kit. And the Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline, you can find it at your drugstore, you can find it at your supermarket, um, and it's really cheap, nearly always on special at the discount um, chemist warehouse. Um, it defines lashes, creates a bit of volume, as well as lengthens lashes as well. So if your client um, either has a lot of lash or not much at all, um, I really don't think you can. I don't think you can go past this product. It's it's really really good for the uh, the price that it is. My next favorite product to have in my makeup kit as a makeup artist is this lip pencil by Mac in the color Dervish. So I've actually got it on today, colored in my entire lip and lined of course as well with a light pink gloss over the top. Um, this guy is perfect for the client that really wants that kind of movie nude, kind of like a pink but not really a pink but more of a nude. Does that make sense? So I really think the color Dervish is perfect for that and I think it works on a range of different skin tones and colored complexions. Um, it's got enough pink bit pigment in it that it does um, make it suitable to overline the lip a little bit as well. So I think it's perfect um, for the client that wants a little bit more of a poutier lip. Um, and it looks great on mature, mature age clients as well in that it's a beautiful um, your lips but better kind of color as well so that's another pick um, of my favorites to have in your makeup kit for March Dervish by MAC Cosmetics. My next favorite to have in your makeup kit for March as a makeup artist is this beautiful backlight priming filter the Becca primer here. So this stuff is amazing at creating that lip from within skin underneath um, your foundation. It's also great at diffusing any um, imperfections, um, flaws underneath the skin as well and it gives it, I don't know if you guys can see, oh my god I've done it really awkwardly, good swatch sim, um, <laughs> go this way, um, so it's really great for creating that glow to the skin, um, I think you could even wear this on its own if you, in your personal, um, 
in your own personal makeup bag. I think it's great just to put on the tops of your cheekbones um, for that little bit of a healthy glow if you're off to the gym or you just put some mascara on and then pop it on the highlights of the cheekbones there. It's really, really gorgeous. Um, and I do love the fact it comes in a glass bottle. It makes it feel a little bit more luxe as well. But at the same time, it's not amazing it comes in a glass bottle because it makes your makeup kit heavier than it really needs to be with all the product that I carry around. Um, so for the makeup artists that are out there at the moment, are you using this product or are you using something different? I'd love to know um, what you guys use to get that beautiful dewy lit skin. Um, I just know that this has been amazing and it does work for me and for what I try to achieve in my makeup kit. So that's the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. The next favourite that I love to have in my makeup kit or have loved having in my makeup kit for the March period of 2018 is the Style Nada Pot Eyeshadow. It's by the brand called 3CE which you can get from Sephora. They just come in these gorgeous little pots. That one there is Mr. Brown and this one here is Baby Latte. So I picked these up online and they're like a gel cream kind of consistency. Now you could even use this baby latte on the skin for a gorgeous highlight um, or just keep it to the eye for a beautiful rose gold look. They are amazing. They have such a great amount of pigment in them and the blendability is delicious. Um, I simply put mine over a primed eyelid base and I use that as my color base if I'm creating, um, you know, an eye that does require the colors that these pots come in um so this is beautiful like they blend out like absolute creamy velvet like they're beautiful and they set like um more like a powder as well so you can then go in and layer shadows powdered shadows over the top of them as well there's no issue with blending that i have found so these guys are great you can apply them even on yourself for personal use with your finger they're so easy to put on um, or like I said in your kit for your clients as a base and then adding other powders to that or even other cream products they're amazing and like I said that baby latte amazing on um, medium complexions as a highlight as well it's beautiful I really really recommend those if you haven't got around to them to having them in your kit or in your personal kit already they're amazing Next um, product that I want to share that I have loved having in my makeup kit and also my personal kit as well for the month of March is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. It's not the illuminating one. I actually prefer to use the one that is um, that doesn't have the added illumination to the cream um, because I do tend to use this. I've got one for myself and I've got a couple for my kit as well and I use this as a kind of like a tint on my mature aged clients that don't require a lot of foundation because what it does is it's a full coverage cream but it also has beautiful anti-aging um, SPS 50 all these different properties in it as well which hydrates it nourishes the skin while the individual has it on their face it's incredible I really really love it um, I've actually just got it on today as a foundation I don't put anything else on my skin except for this and maybe a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes that's all I've got on today um, so I'm really as I'm coming on the end of my late 20s I look for something that has a little bit more than just coverage for my skin I'm trying to get into the habit of getting things that do have a, um, a nourishing property to them as well as you know we all wear, we wear makeup a lot of the time and I think that's really important um, so yeah, this is amazing. If you don't have it in your kit, you need to get it, even just to try on yourself. I know a lot of people are onto this already. Um, I've actually got a couple of my work colleagues onto it already. They go, you know, what are you using on your skin? It looks great. And it's this bad boy. It is incredible. I love, love, love. Um, so there you go, my beauties. Those are my top five products that I've been loving in my makeup kit for March of 2018. Um, and also some that I've used in my personal kit as well. If you are a makeup artist or a makeup lover, please feel free to send me a comment or like or subscribe. And let me know if you've been using any of those products and what you've thought or any alternatives to those products that you've been absolutely loving. Um, let me know. Um, I'd be really, really interested to know. And let me know whether you like this video um, as a series to continue doing um, my makeup artist 
favourites that have been in my makeup kit. I'll probably come up with a better name than that because that sounds really confusing. Yeah, just let me know what you think. Okay beauties, have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Bye!